Hi guys, FM Campbell here once again. Um, welcome to the final episode of the Wonder Kids series. Um, today we're going to be looking at strikers, as you can probably see. Um, previously, if you want to check out the other videos, um, these are all in a playlist, so you can watch them all at once if you wanted to. Um, we've previously looked at goalkeepers, right backs, left backs, centre backs, central defensive midfielders, centre midfielders, central attacker midfielders, um, right wingers or right midfielders, um, and the same in the left wing as well. Um, and then obviously today, like I said, we're going to be looking at strikers. Uh, so feel free to check them out. Again, just to make you aware, um, each save is different. So the players may be slightly different um, to in this than they are in your game, but it's a sort of a, a general thing really. Um, the, and also these are players that I found throughout my game. So I've not used anyone's scouting lists or I've not, not downloaded any listings or anything like that. I've merely just found these throughout my own games. So there's probably players I've missed. If you think there are any that I've missed, put them in the comment section below. And let's get a bit of interaction going. So as normal, we'll start for the youngest at 16 years old and we'll move through to the age of 20. Um, to start off with them, we've got Jerome Sinclair. Um, obviously he plays for Liverpool, as you can see. He's 16 years old. Um, his value is 10 grand. He's on £80 a week. Um, although he doesn't look that great, he's not actually a bad little player. He turns out to be quite a good player, especially because he's only 16. Um, get someone tutoring him and working on the, the positions and um, especially the, his technical here. Um, his mental's not too bad to start off with, with physical, obviously needs a bit of work, but that will come through age. But one good thing is an available and approach to sign. Um, for this game, uh, for this save, to show you these players, I'm using Man United, so I won't be able to sign him, because he's obviously a Liverpool player. Um, but I'd highly recommend getting him. Moving on to Gabriel Barbosa, probably one of the most popular um, strikers, especially when the game first came out, when FM14 first came out, to go and get. Um, he's very, very cheap, but... Uh, um, as you can see, he has an agent that owns 40% of him now, so he's probably going to cost you about an extra 1 to 3 million on top of what you're going to pay. So just be aware of that. Uh, he's on 1.6k a week, 1.2 million in value, playing for Santos, 16 years old. And the Brazilian's stats are okay. His mental's pretty decent, if I'm honest. In fact, for a 16-year-old, it's actually it's superb, I suppose. And his technical is, again, just as good. Um, physical, maybe his stamina obviously needs a little bit of work. But other than that, he's pretty much all there. Um, he'd be actually probably first team choice for probably championship and down um, for Premier League. Um, obviously, he's going to need a little bit more experience. Bruno Gomez playing for International under 20s. Um, his physical needs work, as you can see, but remember, he's only 16 years old. His mental's not too bad, but obviously, that will have come through age as well. Um, but his technical's pretty good. But his technique, maybe a little bit of work, but his finishing for a striker is 10, so that definitely needs some work. Um, 65k in value, £800 a week. Then on to the next player, we've got Alberto Cherry. Um, big warning with this guy. He's available on approach to sign at the very beginning, probably for in the regions of sort of, well, it's 816k in compensation. As you can see, there's the wages that he wants from me as a Man United manager. Um, but if you continue to look at him and look at his wanted, um, he's wanted by quite a lot of teams on loan very, very early on. Um, so he is one of the players where you literally have to get him on the first day. You have to be approaching to sign him when you first start the game, really. Um, his physical is okay. Um, obviously, he's not very quick, as you can see. Um, his mental, it's not too bad. Obviously, it, it looks pretty average at the age of 17, but he's, his concentration, obviously, and things like that will come through age. Um, his attributes, though, and his technical are pretty good. His finishing is 13. His heading is 14. He's six foot three, bearing in mind. And that goes in tail with his jumping as well. Um, and obviously you can take penalties, but his technique needs a bit of work as well, and his first touch. Um, £220 a week, as you, you've seen, he's going to want about between two to three grand a week if you sign him. Uh, 17 years old, playing for Palmer, and he's currently in the under-19s. Then we've got probably the most talked about player in the forums, um, where most talk about a young player in the forums, is Timo Werner. Um, his physical is through the roof, apart from his strength, but he's only 17, so that will come. But his physical are just it's crazy good. Um, his mental is okay, but that will again come through age. But his technical, again, that goes with his physical. It's just unbelievable. He can play his versatile across so many different positions as well. Finishing a 14. His dribbling is 14 if you want to play him as an inside forward. Um, his passing is okay. First touch is 13. Technique's 13. So that will all come, obviously. Um, but he's going to cost you a bit of money, and to my knowledge last time, yeah, Barcelona won him. So there's a little bit of a hint of how good he can actually become. 
Uh, he plays for Stuttgart currently, but he does normally sign a new contract um, quite quickly with the club. So I would highly recommend him trying to get him early on. And he's on £625 uh, a week with Stuttgart. Anthony Marshall, again another very, very good player. Um, playing for Monaco, and the Frenchman's worth 2.3 million. He's on 10.25k a week. 17 years old. His physical is very, very good, bar his stamina, but that does need work. But again, it'll come through age. His mentals, not too bad. Pretty much across the board is okay, but his concentration lets him down a little bit. And so does his work rate. And his position of four, considering how versatile he's supposed to be, um, that's a little bit of a concern as well. But again, he's only 17. But his technical is very, very good as well. Finishing is 13 for a striker, techniques 14, his first touch is 14 as well. So, quite a bright spark. Then we've got Carlos playing for Atletico Monero in the under 20s as well. Um, his physical is pretty good. Um, obviously, stamina and strength will come through age. His mental is not too bad. It's a shame about his determination, as you've probably seen in the previous few days. It's quite a, uh, a key aspect, key attribute that I look at on players. Um, but that get a bit of tutor in that will look on as well. Um, his technicals pretty much across the board as well. Um, I was actually quite shocked that he could only play up front, considering his technical, he's he's not too bad everywhere really. He's good at crossing, dribbling, finishing first touch, heading, long shots, and his passing is not too bad. Uh, penalties, tackling as well is 14, and his technique's 13. So I was kind of surprised he couldn't sort of play in the three attacking midfield roles as well. So it might be a good idea to train him there if you want to play him there. Um, he's eight, worth 84k, so he's going to be quite cheap. He's on £575 a week and he's 17 years old. Hervin Ongenda, um, playing for PSG. I mean, most people probably have heard of him, especially in previous FMs. But look at that value, 41 grand. So I don't really know what that means, whether you'll be able to get him quite cheap. Um, 18 years old, 41 grand in value. His contract does run out at the end of the year, so just keep him on your on your um, radar, um, especially when it comes to January or end of December, you can maybe approach to sign him at the end of the season for free. Um, he's worth 1,000, he's on grand a week, sorry. His physical is okay, but again, there's his stamina and strength are going to let him down. He can't jump either. Um, his mental's not too bad. He's got the determination and the work rate slightly there. Um, flair and technique go hand in hand as well. His finishing's 12, so he's, he's not too bad. He's pretty much across the board. He's never going to be a, a star striker, in my opinion, for like a a top four club in most countries, but it'd be a good squad player. Wesley Saeed, or Wesley Said, as people know him. Know him. Um, physical, not too bad. Again, there is stamina and strength. Um, his balance is a bit of a concern, and obviously he's not going to jump anytime soon. Um, his mental, to be honest with you, is pretty poor. There's only three attributes above 10. That's creativity of 11, determination of 13, and flair of 16. Um, his flair goes hand in hand with his technique again. And considering he's a striker, his finishing is only 10. So first touch of 12 going with the dribbling as well. 55k in value, playing for Stad Rene in the under-19s. And he's on £675 a week. Christian Espinosa. Physicals, not too bad. His natural fitness is a little bit low. Um, his strength obviously will come of age, but that stamina is pretty good for an 18-year-old. Um, not going to jump and his balance is, is not fantastic. Um, his mental, it's not too bad. I mean, it's pretty average across the board. Isn't it? Nothing's above the 13, so and it's a determination of 10. Finishing at 12, technique of 12, 18 years old. He's worth 900k, and he's on 1.2k a week, playing for Hurricane in the under-20s. Adam Campbell, a really, really bright English player. Um, very, very popular on previous FMs as well. Playing for St Mirren at the moment on loan. Um, he's actually a Newcastle player still. Um, physicals through the roof, his strength's a bit of concern, so you just got to get him work on his strength. His mental's very, very good across the board, it's very good. Um, and his technical's not bad at all either. Finishing at 13, technique at 12, so it's okay. First touch, touch is 12 as well. 475k in value, £750 a week. But again, his contract runs out at the end of the year, so if you can go and get him on a free, especially as he's English, because he's going to be expensive just because he's English bonus so be aware of him at the end of December then we've got one of my favourite wonder kids in Mitrovic he is just unbelievable in my opinion um, he's 6 foot 2, 18 years old 6 million um, 9.25k a week in wages but just look at that physical Phys a strength of 17, this is an 18 year old and his strength is 17 Acceleration of 13, so for a big guy, still not too bad. Agility is 14, balance is 15, 
Jump and reach 14, natural fitness 14, pace is 13, stamina is 14 as well. Bit bit concerned about his aggression, as you can see, he's going to be getting um, probably going to be getting yellow cards. You've got to monitor that. But his mental is very very good. Look at that determination there for 16. Finishing is 14. First touch is 14. Heading is 15. He's just an absolute beast. He's playing for Anderlecht at the moment. It's probably going to cost you about 10 to 15 million. But he is absolutely unbelievable. Yassine Benzia, again another very, very popular striker as, as well in FM13. Um, playing for Leon at the moment, so he's probably I reckon he's probably gonna cost you in the region about five to five to sort of ten million. Um, 18 years old, 875k in value. He's on 7.5k a week. Again, his contract runs out at the end of the year, so be aware. Um, his physical's not too bad. His stamina is a little bit of a war, uh, bit concerning, the same with his strength. But his mental is quite good across the board. Um, also he's got good flair to go hand in hand with the technique. Um, determination is very, very good as well. So uh, good all round really in his mental. Uh, dribbling a 15. As you can see, he's very first tile across the front three of, of midfield. Finishing a 13. First touch of 15 as well. So highly recommended in my book. Carlos Fierro, again, another name that you may all recognise. Um, playing for Kivas or Chivas in Mexico. 650k in value and he's on 4.7k a week in wages. Um, his physical's not too bad. His finish is pretty good. Same hand in hand with his mental. Um, he's got finishing a 13, technique a 13, first touch an 11, so his technical does need work, but these two here will come with age. Um, again, another player that a lot of people tend to buy in this FM and in the previous FM. So keep an eye on him. Luciano Vieto. In my in the previous episode when we looked at left backs, I talked about Luke Shaw and how much of a difference he can be in different saves. Um, we looked at his I looked at his um, was in, in relation to Luke Shaw. I looked at his mental and his determination. I think was some it was really really low. It was, it was below ten. Um, I mean I've got him in another save um, in the first sort of two weeks in the game and he's got a determination of eighteen. So. It really does differ, and Luciano Vieto is another example of that. Um, determination is 10 in this, um, but in the same save, save that I started a little bit before I started the Wonder Kid, this is on the same um, load up, so same, I think it was on 14.3, so same update. Um, the difference in the players are crazy. He's, he's 19 in determination in my game, Vieto, um, but he's only 10 here. But other than that, his mental is very, very good. Um, his physical is quite good as well. He's 5 foot 8, so. I mean, his strength is a little bit concerned. 19 years old, 2.5 million in value. He's on four grand a week. Uh, his finishing is 14. His dribbling is 14. Technique 14 as well. So you can see he's all around quite a, quite a good player. His first touch needs work. Um, you can retrain him down the right hand side. He's actually he's a possibility to play in the middle, but I preferably wouldn't. Um, he's wanted by a club. He's actually wanted by AC Milan, and he did. He has moved um, in other saves as well, where I've done examples of different things. Um, in the Trophy Hunt Challenge, he actually moved um, to AC Milan as well. So just be aware of that. But he's playing for Racing Club, um, Argentinian. Very, very highly recommended. Paolo de Bala. As you can see, um, he's actually not a bad player at all. Um, he has improved dramatically since the last FM, but yet he was still popular in the last FM as well. Um, physical is through the roof. His strength is a little bit concerned, though, but he's only 19. Um, and he's not going to be jumping anytime soon. Um, mental, it's pretty damn good, to be honest with you. Concentration and decisions will come. Um, anticipation, mm, maybe he's going to be anticipating some fluffed balls from defenders, I don't know. Um, but he's not going to be very good at it. <laughs> um, his technicals. Pretty good as well. Finishing the 13, so that doesn't need work. First touch of 16, which is fantastic. Technique of 15 as well. 2 million in value, playing for Palermo in Italy. 19 years old, and he's on 5.75k a week. Nicolas Lopez. Um, this guy is co owned by Udinese and Roma, I believe. Yep, this is there. Um, 19 years old, 1.1 million in value. Um, it's 8.5k a week as well. Physical, mm, it's okay, but his stamina is pretty poor. Um, he's very versatile across the wings and up front. Um, mental again, look at that work rate. Going with his determination, he's possibly not. Well, he's 
He's probably not a player I would go for, but he's still very, very good, and still people can can change players dramatically. But his technical superb. Look at that straight across the board. It's very, very good. So um, he's actually playing for Udinese at the moment, but obviously you can see that he's co-owned. Paco Akesa, another very popular player. Um, he's actually he goes under the radar a little bit though, um, but he is still, um, especially for the big FMers, they they will know about this guy. Um, physical is very, very good. So is his mental. Um, it's just across the board, really. Look at that bravery is 16. Finishing is 16 as well. Technique is 16. Um, first touch of 14. He's a very, very good striker. 2.2 million in value, playing for Valencia. He's on 7.5k a week. Juan Turbe. Um, he's on loan from Porto at the moment, so you won't be able to get him first season. Um, he's playing for Verona, as you can see. Um, physical is not too bad. He's absolutely rapid. Look how quick he is. 17 acceleration, agility 16, and pace 16. Stamina is a bit of a worry. If you can work on that, it'd be good. Um, mentals mm, it needs work, especially as he's 20. Um, maybe if he's 18 years old at this level, I would say he's a definite buy. Again, the determination of 10. Technique though, it's not too bad. He's, dribb um, he's dribbling 16, so if you want to play him as an inside forward, I'd highly recommend doing so. Finishing at 12. Does need work and then technique of 14 as well. And he's got the first touch of 12 to go with the finishing. Uh, 20 years old, he's worth 5.25 million, so it's going to be expensive unless he flops in the first season. And he's on 17 grand a week, so he's probably going to cost you a bit of money. Then we've got Kelvin playing for Porto. Um, physical is a little bit of a worry again, but his pace is pretty good. Um, stamina needs work. Mental's okay, to be honest with you. It's, uh, I mean. I suppose looking at it, actually, there's a lot of 11s in there. Although I'm seeing green, there's a lot of 11s, so be aware of that. Um, technical, though, is superb. Finishing doesn't need work. His first touch is 16, dribbling is 16, so again, you could play him as an inside forward, especially on the left to start off with. Technical 15. 210k in value. He's got a massive Mohican. 8.5k a week in wages as well. Then we got the man, Romelu Lukaku. Right, now this guy... Um, normally, I guess this is another example of what I was saying about Luciano Vieto and Luke Shaw. Um, his stamina is normally pretty poor, but it's not too bad in this one. It's 12. Um, remember, this is the first day in the game, so he's not progressed at all in this one. But just look at them physicals. Natural fitness of 18. His pace is 16. Strength is 18. This is a 20-year-old. Stamina is 12 in this one, but it's probably going to be lower in yours. Um, I think this might just have been a one-off. Every time I've looked at him, he's been lower than 10. Um... Jumping reach of 15, so acceleration is 14, and agility 11, and balance of 12. Mentals crazy good as well. Determination is 16, teamwork 16, work rates 15, composure is 15, so it's very good in front of goal. Um, finishing a 15, so I'd, I'd work on that to be honest with you. Heading 16 to go with his jumping. Long shots of 14, penalty taking 16 as well. Um, it's 12 million in value. Obviously, he's on loan at Everton. And the Belgians actually plays for Chelsea. Um, in my trophy hunt challenge in the second season, actually Barcelona made an offer for him. So just be aware of that. He's on 40 grand a week, so he's going to be expensive. Andreas Cornelius, previously the Cardiff man, as you can see. Um, he moved to Cardiff for 8 million and then went back the next season for 3.2 million. So it was a little bit of a flop. Actually, no, he would have gone in January. So it was a bit of a flop. Um, physical is pretty good to be honest with you. His agility is not great though. But look at that. We're jumping 16, strength for 16. He's 6 foot 4, finishing 15, um, determination 16. His mental is is, is great. Um, obviously, he's not going to be a leader anytime soon. And his positioning, maybe that needs a little bit of work, especially he's going to be getting himself in positions where he can get his head on the ball. Um, he's injured for two months. He's, he's just moved, so whether you'll be able to get him, I don't really know. Uh, he's playing for SC Copenhagen, 2.9 million in values on 8.75k a week. Jesse, the Real Madrid man, probably the best striker um, between actually between him and Lukaku. Um, I think, yeah, in my opinion, probably well, actually it's probably three. Or one I'm going to mention soon. Um, 7.5 million in value. Two, three, th uh, excuse me, 32.5k a week in wages. And the Spaniard's physicals through the roof. He's quite quick. Um, his mental's not great. Look at the work rate, to be honest with you. Um, his technical's awesome. Technique is 17. Dribbling is 16. Look at that flair, though. 19 in flair. 
Um, finishing 15, first touch 15, passing 15. Uh, we can play across the front three in midfield. 20 years old, like I said, playing for Real Madrid. Um, he's going to cost you a lot of money, I'd imagine, but he's just awesome. Vinici Vinicius Araujo. Um, he's playing for Valencia at the moment, the Brazilian. 1.7 million in value, 9 grand a week. Um, his physical's pretty average, not too bad though. Um, it does need work. Same with his mental. Um, and to be honest with you, he's across the board. He he's, he's looks pretty average, but with work, he could actually become a really, really good player. Mauro Riccardi, again, co-owned by Inter and Sampdoria. Um, physical's quite good, by that natural fitness. Um, his mental is it's okay. I mean, it's in the sort of 12 to 14 region. But look at that determination of 18. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, and his technical is not too bad at all. Finishing the 14. His heading is 14. He's only 5 for 11. But you can't jump. Or well, his jumping reach isn't great, sorry. Um, technique 12. His first touch is 12 as well. 2.5 million in value. Playing for Inter at the moment. He's obviously co-owned. And he's on 28.5k a week. So he might cost you a bit of money. Eric Torres. In the previous FM, if you didn't get the other Mexican, where is he? Carlos Fierro. If you didn't get Carlos Fierro, you got Eric Torres. This season, he's on loan um, from Kivas, uh, playing for Kivas USA. Not sure how that works. Are they sort of affiliates? They must be. Um, anyway, his physical is quite good, actually. It's quite impressive. Not, not bad at all. Same as mental, although his composure is a bit of a concern, especially as a striker. Uh, finishing is 14, his first touch needs work at 11, but his technique's 13, his passing's 12. So he's not too bad at all. He's one to invest in for the future anyway. 800k in value, he's on 5, £575 a week, but obviously he's on loan the first season, so you probably won't be able to get him to the second season anyway, unless his loan deal finishes quicker. Gonzalo Bueno, um, physical, it's not too bad. I mean, his balance is poor, um, and he's not going to be jumping anytime soon. His mental, it's okay. His determination lets him down, same with his work rate, but his composure's poor too. He's actually got quite a lot of key stats in his mental that are quite key in the striker's area, so just be aware of that. Um, finishing is 13. His first touch is 15. It's quite good. Technics are 15 as well. Uh, 20 years old, playing for Caban. Um, 90, uh, 900k in value, and he's on five grand a week. Alvaro Morata. Um, Jesse's younger partner, I suppose. Um, five million in value. He's on twenty-five grand a week for Real Madrid. Um, his physical is not too bad at all for a twenty-year-old. Um, his mental is actually pretty good as well. Again, by like determination. But finishing a sixteen is awesome. First touch of fifteen is awesome. Technique fourteen. His heading is fifteen. Six foot three as well. So he's a big man for a twenty-year-old, and he's going to be growing still as well. Um, so there's that jump in to go with it. But yeah, he's, he's, I, to be honest with you, between him and Jesse, he's the harder worker and the bigger man, but Jesse's the quicker one. Then we've got Kevin Volland, probably along with Lukaku, like I said, and Jesse, um, one of the three most popular and most successful, and probably the best, one of the best actually, wonder kids in the strike position. Um, physical is ridiculously good. Acceleration is 16, agility 15, balance 17, natural fitness 17, pace is 14, stamina is 17, strength is 12. Um, and then look at that mental with the work rate 18, teamwork is 16, determination is 17. His aggression is a little bit of a concern, be aware of that. Um, it needs to be worked on in the composure area and his positioning maybe a little bit as well. Um, his technical is pretty average to be honest with you, he's finishing his 14 and technique of 14. First such a 13, but he's got a real good standard and a real good basis to work on here. Um, he's actually worth 9.75 million, but you can get him for 12.75 million because that's his release clause. So you can get him really, really cheap from Hoffenheim. He's on 32 grand a week, so he's probably going to cost you in the range of sort of 50 to 70 grand a week. But even if you buy him to sell him or buy him, loan him out and then sell him, I guarantee you you'll double your money. But to be honest with you, I've signed him. I have a Man United save, and I've signed him, and he's actually my second choice to Rooney as I sold Van Persie because he's just that good. Um, so I, I can't recommend him anymore. To be honest with you, um, and as you can see from the clubs that want him, that he's he's a very very good player. So that is all of the strikers, and that doesn't just bring us to an end to this video. It brings us an end to the series. 
Um, well, that's what you thought. I actually have another video coming out. It will be coming out not too long after this one. Um, just trying to throw a little bit of a, a spanner in the works, I suppose. I've been going on saying about how this is going to be the last episode. It's actually not. Um, because we've covered all positions, I've decided that I'm going to do a Wonder Kid 11. So my favourite players, um, I'll probably do a either a four. Two, I'll either do a four-two-three-one or a four-four-two, just because just for generalisation, I suppose. Um, but yes, the next video you'll be seeing will be a Wonder Kid 11. So check that out. It's probably been a co going to be controversial. There's probably going to be players that you think, why have you got him in there and not him? But like I said, put in the comment section below. Go check out the other videos in this series as well. Um, I've tried. There's some of them are very, really, really long with loads of different players that you can try and you can check out. Don't forget to comment in this section below. Um, share the videos with your friends. All feedback is is so much appreciated. Um, I've had quite good feedback on this series so far and people seem to be enjoying it so thank you very very much for watching them and, and getting involved with them um, like I said I've covered all the other positions go check them out as well but I'll be seeing you in the Wonder Kid 11 in the surprise video at the end of the series um, thanks very much for watching you've been listening to FM Campbell like, subscribe, go crazy cheers